Now, let me tell you about tonight's lecture master ceramicist, uh, Mr. Toshio Ohi, who formally inherited the prestigious title of the 11th Ohi Chozaemon uh, this January. In 1958, Mr. Ohi was born in Kanazawa. He graduated uh, with a Master of Fine Arts from Boston University in 1984. His first exhibition was held in Boston that same year, and since then he has held many exhibitions not only in Japan, but also in various cities in Asia, Europe, and the United States. He has won many awards, including the prestigious Prime Minister Japan Prize at the 54th Japan Contemporary Craft Exhibition in 2015. His contribution to the art, however, is not only as an artist, but also as an educator. He has received honorary and visiting professor titles from various universities and has served as a judge in art and craft exhibition in Japan and abroad. Furthermore, he was given the special name Soen by Urasenke, which is one of the major Japanese tea ceremony schools. His family also has a long and special relationship with Urasenke, which goes back almost 350 years. Considering his own personal accomplishments and his family history, I am confident to say that he is a perfect person to be the lecturer of tonight's special event. Lastly, I would like to briefly explain about the Japanese Koge exhibition at Japan Information Cultural Center. 35 works by 32 artists and masters who work in ceramics, metalwork, lacquerware, and glass are all exhibited in this uh, event. Among them, we have 13 pieces from certified 13 living national treasures of Japan. The exhibition is open from today to May 6th. May 6th. We're closed weekends and holidays, but I hope you will have time to visit us again during this uh, period. I'm very pleased to be able to show such wonderful works together at JICC. And of course, Mr. Ohi's artworks are among them as well. So with no further delay, I would like to welcome the 11th generation uh, Ohi Chozaimo, Mr. Toshio Ohi. Everyone, I cannot see anything, it's completely dark. <laughs> Feeling like I'm talking by myself. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Minister Tsukada Tamaki, Communication and Culture Affairs, Embassy of Japan, uh, for your warm interaction. Thank you so much. Also, uh, thank you for attending other important minister of Embassy of Japan, Oike. Deputy Chief of Mission and Minister uh, Kuroda. And I appreciate to many audience uh, to attend the for my lecture out. today. Yeah. I'm very much honored to be invited by Embassy of Japan. Means I have to have a very serious lecture. Um, <laughs> I have a problem. I'm not uh, native English speakers. So I have uh, many slides today <laughs> rather than I'm speaking. And I'm very nervous today. And just before I came to this uh, culture center, I just returned to the hotel. And I was not sleepy, but I just lie down. And then when I wake, it said 5.30. <laughs> I'm supposed to be lobby for 5.15. <laughs> I couldn't very much organize for this lecture. So I was sitting and I was preparing. So, uh, Nana Onishi, I came here with New York uh, yesterday, and she also organized for this exhibition, also my lecture. And she's uh, my uh, gallery contact uh, woman in New York City. Thank you, Nana. And hello, everyone. My name is Oji Toshiro. I'm 
as uh, Mr. Stardust uh, introduction, I became a eleventh generation of Ohi Cho Daimon, like an Edo period person's name. I'm still not clear for my name yet. So <laughs> after I went to Urasenke and uh, we had a ceremony for uh, receiving my master's name, and then we returned to the house in Canada, and then uh, one of my newspaper uh, asked us uh, interview, and then the reporter asked, well, please uh, want to talk with Cho Zaimon or he, and then my father was answering, so we don't, <laughs> we don't know anything yet. <laughs> yeah. And so let me uh, start about my lecture today, and welcome ladies and gentlemen, shall we start? Okay, I'm going to use uh, slides. So I'm a very much a uh, good user for Macintosh. So <laughs> very new way, right? Not 11 stereos. Um, this is a Urasenke in Kyoto. And January 27th, uh, my father and I were invited uh, to the Urasenke. And Grand Team Master Zabosai, uh, he serves for our uh, memorial uh, receiving name today because Saint Riku uh, Memorial Day is January twenty uh, third. So, uh, earliest Taiyan, the luckiest day was January twenty seventh after the Riku's Memorial Day. That's why uh, Grand Team Master choose uh, choose the day, and then. Uh, when he served tea, uh, we drank thick tea. So there are the two tables. So inside of a smaller table, it was uh, covered by gold leaf. And then it said, Zabosai's grandfather named uh, Longevity. And then when he turned to uh, 77, uh, my grandfather made the tea balls for Tantan Sai, it's a grand uh, tea master's grandfather. Uh, so he used the tea ball. So we can share the, our grandfather each other. So I thought tea ceremony or the way of tea is good meanings. I love it. And then, so this is a uh, Kanazawa. Uh, this is a Kanazawa a castle. So now we enjoy uh, just it's a time, uh, best timing for the blooming cherry blossoms. But I'm not in Canada. So <laughs> people always really think Toshi is not in Canada all the time. So this is a Nagamachi, it's a samurai, used to be district. But now many of my uh, relatives are still living there. So every time when we have a snow, we are kind of the same common word, ah, finally we have a snow. So we have to take it up snow from in front of a house. But visitors are taking photo. Wow, it's a good view. Snow is beautiful. So completely opposite idea we used to have. Now we enjoy uh, winter <laughs> because maybe it's an air, air conditioning system. It's not only that. Now we realize how we can welcome to visiting people. So we have to enjoy with them. So this is four seasons. Is it clear? Okay. So I'm kind of studying about capital cities, maybe especially in Asian Asian cities. It's a uh, wonderful common format for just before they build the city. We call it Feng Shui. I mean, maybe Japanese we say Fusui. Uh, fusui. Uh, it's a very much common idea for building, building the city. Um, this is a golden ratio, but maybe a five and eight composition, a component for the sites. 
uh, when we make five and five, so left uh, space will be five and eight again. So this is a, a golden ratio format. So uh, just please remember the shape is a spider. So I'm uh, sorry. So this is a, a fancy format. Nose we call uh, genbu. It's a for example for the animal. It's a turtle and snake. And west is a white tiger, which means white tiger ha have to live there. Means have to be uh, surrounded by the mountain from a west coast. And then east coast, it said blue dragon is living in, in east coast. So dragon need a lake and mountain. And then south is a, uh, we maybe god birds are living there. Means very purity water from north is coming to the central city how they can make a water system from a north. And then purely water is still going out to the ocean. That's why God birds are flying down and they can drink the water. So you can think it's an environmental uh, format and from an ancient period. The people are telling us with the city have to be this design. So this is uh, over 300 years ago uh, at the Tokyo uh, city map. So you can see this is a spiral water system from a north to the south. So you can see this is a spiral. How they uh, make a city? The Edo, the name came from a uh, scientist. Uh, he was a planner for the city. So uh, Tokyo was built this way. You can see it still it's, it's the same composition. So we call Penshui City. Maybe Tokyo in China, Beijing and uh, Nanjing and Xi'an. It's all it's at North Capital. South capital, West capital, but capital have to be this format. So, it's a uh, please uh, just you we travel by time machine, uh -huh. maybe uh, going to the 500 or 600 AC. So, emperor is watching to the sun. We call uh, that room, we say Nisokan, means sunset or sun, we are looking at uh, to the sky, to the west, and then we call sunset. So we are always watching a sun directly. So also, emperors, how they are, he is standing or he is spending every day with food. So this is a right side minister and left side minister. What, how, what kind of a knowledge they have? It's a they can tell to the emperor or tell to the unified person what time is it or what kind of weather will it be and the people, if they are gathering in front of an imperial garden or house, what kind of a purpose they are gathering? It might be a uh, violence or meaning is good. So that person is going to tell emperor, this is good uh, people are gathering. Or if there is something violence, he goes there and then he talk with people, so this idea will be stopped. So this kind of people are very important for the emperor. So uh, as you can see, when you see a all Japanese paintings or Buddhism, Buddha paintings. You can see many Buddhas in the uh, side of an ocean. And it's the same thing. They, we are, if we are watching sun directly, we can see 
many Buddhas, statues, are flying or, you know, uh, on the, in the sky. So you can see this kind of a paintings from this idea. And, you know, Shimenawa or uh, Torii, if you go shrine in Kyoto, there is many symbols in the shrine. So idea, it came from this. Rock and rock, tied by rock. Then sun is rising, and we can see from inside between rock and rock, or mountain and mountain. So we believe sun is a god, and then the mountain or rock is god. So if you go to shrine in Japan now, who, who, who is a god? Is an emperor or rock or ocean or sun? Is an old god we uh, made up in the period. So also now we have GPS like a, from a satellite. If we watch from a uh, satellite, uh, still it's a north, south. It's a uh, Nanjing. Xi'an is a west. As I told you, ocean and mountain, and then major people, they decided, okay, from uh, before the 1868, name is Edo city, because Edo was a planner for the city. And then, okay, from uh, 1868, we have to have a new capital name. It's uh, Tokyo, Tonjin. The, they compare Beijing and South, uh, Nanjing and Xi'an. So, but you, you can check by internet. In uh, China land, they don't have a to, uh, East capital name. Anywhere you can uh, find out. So I think uh, there is a many uh, way to look at the uh, uh, Meiji uh, period and people. But this is a one of idea. So if you say, no, this is not right uh, ideas, but it's a one of ideas. So please listen. So uh, this is a table, just table, black table. But why Japanese is thinking about holding tea and drinking green tea is important. I can tell you what is a story start. But anyway, the black tea ball is uh, made in Japan. We don't have any influence from uh, abroad, especially China and Korean Peninsula. Uh, we didn't get this influence. Maybe I will say only this uh, ceramics. We created and we don't have uh, any influence from uh, uh, West Coast. But before we start to think about why holding vessel is important, this is a uh, maybe if you can uh, read this character, but I will explain what it is. This is a uh, this character. It's that we say uh, many Chinese we really pronounce Min. It's a, this is a sky or a heaven. This is a vessel, and this is a human. So mean means, uh, it's a joke, mean means. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, <laughs> now I, I realize by myself. But this character, maybe think about 500 or 600 AC. What kind of a character they used to use? Like this. This is a haven. The person is holding vessels. So it means our life. So always we have to have our vessels, our daily life. But before, around this period, we don't know anything about the way of tea or drinking tea with vessels. We don't know yet. But please consider this way. So this is a Dazaifu Tenmanu in uh, Fukuoka. Um, always in the shrine there is a mirror because it reflect our face. Same way they display on the table. Sorry, I, I did too quick. So this is a table, and then, as I told you, vessels. 
we display left side. And right side is a flowers or uh, some drink. What always we display right side. But this table is very interesting. Uh, we call it shimesu. The table with three legs means wishing or praying. So that's why always in the shrine we have a table and then vessels and some drink. And then we are looking at our face. So if you are inviting to the tea ceremony, we always say tokonoma. Toko means bed. Somebody is lying down on the bed and then hanging calligraphies and then flowers and candles and incense and food. We display just like our face. It, the idea came from this. So the festival, Matsuri, it's the same meaning. Table and three legs, and then some vessels, and then flowers or water for praying God to the God. So this is a Dai Sosho, uh, making tea for the God. Same thing, vessels and table and legs. So we are always learning from an ancient period. Still continues. They always they have a meanings why we start. So when we con uh, consider uh, to the beginning why we start, always there is an uh, answer. So small room, just uh, two tatami mats and Hideyoshi and Sendikyu are really really. Uh, try to say this is a that way of tea. But if somebody is sitting here and then tea horse is sitting here and then the guest is holding tea ball and drinking tea, let's take a photo and then showing to the Chinese or Korean people, they might think it might be jail. Sitting and <laughs> drinking and holding the part. This is only Japan. China or Korea, they never try to do that. They are sitting, but they never hold the vessels. And then they never sit out uh, correct, we say, we say seiza. They never sit that direction, that way. The, because it's a kind of a guilty people. But, <laughs> but we decided maybe in front of a tokonoma, we are sitting there, but we came to the tea room, and please think, we were walking the garden. There is many uh, things are hiding, such as just before enter to the tea room, we purify, purify our hands and our mouth. It's not cleaning up our mouth. It's not, you know, for washing our tooth. It's we are purifying our mind and body, and then nobody. Ha should not say how guests can enter to the tea room. It's a small door. Anyway, uh, you have to bow to the for entering to the tea room. That way, the, they decided the sides. And then, when we look up, there is a tokonoma and hanging calligraphies. So we are automatically bowing to the meaning to the tokonoma. So this is a one of my interesting vessel. Uh, we call, by Japanese, we call Tsukumongata uh, Nasu Saide. It's a tea caddy. And in China, used to be just incense case or uh, spice case for the eating. It, it is a regular, natural, uh, daily use vessel, not special. But maybe 1400 or 1500, when someone unified uh, of Japan, they used to have a tea ceremony. And then they used this for, they want to say, I unify all of Japan now. That's why I'm using this tea caddy. And then Ashikaga or Oda Nobunaga, uh, you know, they handed down to the next unified person. <coughs> And then uh, when Oda Nobunaga died, 
And then two days later, Hideyoshi goes to, uh, went to the castle and found this vessel from uh, Oda Nobunaga's castle. And then when Hideyoshi unified all of Japan, he used these two utensils. And then I'm a man of uh, you know, uh, Japan. So he had a big teaser. And then uh, Hideyoshi was killed again. Tokugawa Ieyasu found this again. But it was completely broken and smashed. And he asked to the craftsman and made almost repair. So now it used to be ceramics, but they are lacquers or wood adding for fixing. But this is a national treasure. But if you Chinese people look at this, why this is important for Japanese? It used to be a daily use Chinese vessels. But it di became a different story. And this is a, a, a sediment from a China. But we are using long time for same same reason. All people are hundred down for saying we have a tea ideas. We have we believe the way of tea, and then this is an important Chinese vessels. And then one day it was a cracked, and then they repair by nail. But we, we feel this is very important table. Still today, we have this. But for Chinese people, we tell us, sorry, it's going to tell us, this is not high level table. Why you have an outlet table? Maybe uh, compared to uh, Japan now, maybe Karizawa, there is an outlet boutiques. So maybe if we buy uh, some brand jacket, and then walking in the Kinza Street, and then if, when we walk in front of the same stores, they might tell us, you have outlet. We are saying really uh, brand jacket. So we didn't know this. So also, this is an oil spot temple. So uh, three of these tables, um, the, our government decided this is a national treasure, but nobody was made in Japan. The Japanese didn't make this. It's from China. But Chinese, they couldn't find out where they made um, even the small chips or crack uh, pieces are not in China. It's a, no one can prove where it was made. But we know that it was made in China. Many Chinese people at the time, they didn't think this is a beautiful tea balls. They thought maybe this is a kind of a future report. We might have a something bad happen. This is the Chinese uh, historian start to say that. So maybe we get this. But it's a beautiful, you know, like a sky in the night. We can see like a stars, but I never think that that way. But it's a different. China and Japan are very close, but we have a different stories. And then uh, at the same time, uh, Sendiku and Hideyoshi, and as I'm saying that, they might have a same opinion for that. So Black t maybe let's think about uh, Jin Dei Chen. Ketokuchi. They have uh, many craftsmen, and then they have a uh, big kilns. And then they product a lot of pieces, and they choose highest and mediocre pieces and lowest pieces. Not so beautiful. So maybe they select three levels. And maybe we have a second level or a third level. Maybe we can think that. And then uh, these keyboard makers, Chojiro, just one person. Never use wheel. Not so many people for helping. Just one person. And never use wheel. And then hand build. And then even though fire, he can do by himself. So uh, that means we had a dis distance or escape from a Chinese influence. So Hideyoshi was very, very happy. So 
he decided that maybe Raku, the name of a castle, he, he called Juraku Dai. So one of our name he gave to the Chocho. And then Raku name started from that time. But this is, you can please remember, this is one of only, one of and only Japanese product. We don't have influence from China and Korea. Just read, please. And then we call Ichiraku uh, ni Hagi san karats. The Hagi and karats are Korean influence. So please think. We saw this is a beautiful seldom tea box, but in China, they had this kind of a beauty tea box. It's a different. See, this is we saw this is a beautiful, but we had different. If you go to Nether Museum, you will figure out tea important uh, vessels and compared to the Chinese vessels in Nether Museum, you can compare which is, which is better. But we made a better story from a regular vessels. So this is a Raku Prague tea ball. This is a Hagi uh, tea ball from a maybe very strong influence from a, a uh, Korean Peninsula. And this is a Karatsu, also influenced from a Korea. So now we realize what happened to a Chinese influence. So they made a, a, a distance from a Chinese influence. This is a Sandikyu's period. So also we have a very similar uh, uh, physical background. It's a Vietnam and uh, Korean Peninsula. It's the same kind of a historical background. They are attaching to the China land, but they didn't, they wanted to have own culture. But land is attaching. We have an ocean, so different story. But Vietnam uh, tea balls, and then uh, Korean tea balls, same liquid, really love it. So we call Annam. So it's a Vietnam uh, tea balls. But they were not purposely made for the tea ball. So at the same period, uh, Momoyama period, tea idea, the way of tea was recreated from that character again. So this tea room is very special, and drinking tea ball is very special. So let me talk about my Kanazawa story. Uh, instead of a Hideyoshi, Maeda Toshi uh, Tsunadori, the fifth generation of a Maeda. And then this man is a Senso. Uh, it's, he was a great grandson from Sendiku. And then Cho Zaemo, is a, he was a fourth uh, Raku family's uh, apprentice, head apprentice. So this was same history. Kanazawa repeated, instead of a Hideyoshi Maeda, instead of a Sendikyu, Senso, and instead of a Chojiro, Chozai, uh, we started the way of tea. So the location is a little bit different. So Kyoto is always telling us all the area to the, uh, Japan. This is the culture of Japan. So, Maybe Kyoto is a techist. We learn from Kyoto. And then Tokyo is a samurai uh, period. And they learn from Tokyo, uh, Kyoto, but they want to power up. Yeah, bigger Kyoto. But Kanaza is different. We want to create like a Hideyoshi and Sendikyu and Chojiro. It's a samurai and also Zen mind. So Kyoto and Kanaza are Kanaza are a big different it's because Kyoto uh, people are believing uh, imperial ideas. We believe samurai mind. It's a completely different. So this is a city of Kanaza map, same as we have a spiral, water system. I mean, so Senso and Chozaimo were living in Kanaza at the time too. And then, you know, uh, Chozaimon have to be 
always new idea. Learn from Kyoto, but changing or have to be new. This is a still today. Uh, people in Kanazawa, we are always approaching this direction. So we call it hijiri tea ball. It's not regular shape, and we never have seen before in some another area. And claw uh, incense burners, same as black tea ball, uh, same uh, firing process. But this is the two parts, top and bottom. And then uh, one of our Raku and Ohi uh, techniques, are when the piece is completely melting in the kiln, we pull it up from kiln. So quick heating and quick cooling. This system, American people start to say Raku, R-A-K-U. And they, they learn this firing process, and then they make many pieces, not like a tea balls. So people go, start to go, American Raku. So I know both of Raku, so especially Gyodo, they, if you invite me, I can represent American Raku and Japanese Raku. So just by one person can represent two people. Means cut the budget for the transportation. <laughs> it's a better way, yeah. So I have more chance. So this is a water container. You know, the water came from Gembu, northern uh, part of a mountain. The tea host is going there and they bring water to for the tea summer. So Senso, this man, uh, was living in 20 years. And then he returned to uh, Kyoto. And then he started Urasenke. So uh, that's why my family are very tight uh, for the Urasenke family. And when Senso was decided for returning to the Kyoto, my first generation made two of these objects. So it is said, uh, it said in the back side of a uh, top of the lid for the box, it said, uh, one day uh, Senso and Chozaimo went to the uh, bridge and looking at the upper side of the river, there was a big rock, and then Warashiri was top of the uh, rock, and then Wara, river Wara was hitting to the rock. So this is water movement from river. Um, he made an example for the handle from the view. So this is a treasure for Ishikawa Prefecture. So as I explained to you, spider arm is very important. The meaning is a defending uh, city was defended by the spiral. That means water uh, movement from the north to the south. So that's why spiral is a very important meaning for the people. So we use the uh, mark for the Ohiwe. So if you invited to the Ura Senke, please look at the upside, upper side, spiral again. So Ura Senke and my family, we can make a clear why there is a spiral. So this is a, a grave in Kanazawa. We have these hanging calligraphies and with the paintings. Senso chosen. Same way we have a grave. Urasenke uh, grape, Senso grape, and then Chozaimon grape. So every month, 23rd, uh, Senso is Memorial Day. So every month we have a tea ceremony. Someone had a tea ceremony in this temple. So this is a way of tea. Maybe you don't know anything about tea, and some people are very much. Uh, they know about tea more than me, but I learned tea salmon, tea idea in New York. The white American is wearing kimono and Japanese is wearing jeans and learning <laughs> about tea. But now I have a good sense. So I always tell to the students, especially to the art students, everybody can be a genius artist. There is a only one thing. Listening carefully, looking carefully, smelling carefully, tasting carefully, and touching carefully, 
the, these are five senses. And then if we have all these five senses using all by all the power, someday we can imagine or we can think something. This is a sixth sense. So my kids are always they are open the mouth and watching TV. So I'm telling them <laughs> their sixth sense never comes. <laughs> and when we got we were invited to the tea ceremony. There is always approach how we can go to the tea room from a waiting room. We can find other direction. It's tied by rope, and then it, it is one of a direction it's putting there. Means don't enter this direction. When we don't see this, this approach is the right direction for approaching to the tea rooms. Maybe when we died, we have to walk to the heaven. It might be same meanings. If we don't tell a lie, or always we are doing something good for people, we don't need this. We can find best approach to the heaven. But regular people, we might confuse which direction. At the time, God or Buddha is telling us, right side is your direction, or left side is your direction. We believe that. That's why you go to church. We go to temple, we go to shrine. But tea is the same way. We may confuse, but there is your direction, not this way. So the final thing is that we are uh, picking the water, and then left side, left hand, and right hand, we kind of clean up, but there is no soap. Means how we are cleaning. It's a, not for eating. It's our, for our mind. We are purifying for our mind by ourselves. And then small door. You have to bow anyway. And then when you look at the up, upper side, there is a hanging calligraphy. It's telling us meanings why today you are, we were invited. And then please remember, I show you what means life or uh, means characters. Holding tea, tea bowl, and drinking means we are feeling like a heavy. And then backside is a tokonoma. One tatami mat, that's a maybe one area. They are coming to the down, to coming to our place, and they are there. We believe. That's why five senses, flowers, candles, incense, and food are we display. And then just one drinking green tea bowl, uh, green tea. So this this has all the meanings for everyone, not only one direction. So that's why we believe the way of tea is a kind of a Japanese culture we de it, it is represent. And some mistake for Japanese from China. Do you know uh, what is a tea color? Can you guess? What is the tea color? Green? Green. But, okay, green. Yeah, brown is the right. Because we say chairo, it said tea is a brown color. We had a mistake. That's why green served on tea balls, and then we used to drink green tea. So we learn, we believe China is doing that that way. But it was a brown color. So now even the French chef in Tokyo, green vessels and green vegetables, they display together. French, they never do that. White porcelain plates and then green vegetables. They reflect each other. But we understood similar color is Japanese beauty. From one small mistake by Japan Sea, we had a, we accepted and we changed it. So holding tea balls is a very much meaning things. And looking at the foot, we call haiken, uh, wishing or playing with watching. So we never have a same chance. We never have a uh, same people. We appreciate. But how they can remember the moment? We don't have an iPhone. 
iPhone is telling us where we take a photo, who acts together by photograph. But at the time, they really want to have an iPhone. They didn't have. So maybe drinking tea and watching bottom is a you know tea ball looks from a beside of a uh, area looks similar. But when we look at the foot, it's a each table is different, so we can identify what kind of table it is. So five or ten years later, if we look at the table again, we can remember who was together and what kind of tea ceremony at the time. So that was tea ideas. All good tea utensils always had a box. And then top of the lid and back side of the lid, it said, what is name of this table? Who Scientists. So it's an identification for the memory. And then this is my uh, clay. Many of my friends are telling me, Toshi, your material is no money. You go out and then <laughs> getting the clay and then making and then selling by high price. So <laughs> you are not spending for the materials. But maybe, but this clay is my grandfather mixed up, mixed five or six different kind of clay. So clay is already aged, of course. But fun, interesting thing is that when we mix five or six clay, clay will be reset. Does not lose all history. So we do lose flex, uh, flexibilities, plasticities. We, it will lose. So 20 years, maybe we have to just live in the vessel. And then clay will be uh, better conditions. Now, most of the women have a cosmetics. You are using clay. Most parts are clay, but good for skin. Means when clay has an edge, it's good for skin. So my hand is very, very clean. Some people is saying you are not working. No, no, I'm using good clay. <laughs> so, same amount, I have to always mix clay and then leave for, for my son or for my grandson. And then, maybe we make a bowl and then we paddle or punch and then make a vessels. But same ideas. I, one day, I went to the uh, upper side of the river. I was very tired and looking for the rock where I can sit. So I'm kind of finding uh, relax, I can relax for, from the rock. So I saw this is a maybe same idea from a furniture. Also same idea from a, a clay when I touch it and had a hole. It's a, a starting point for the vessels. I hope what I mean. Sometimes I'm just understand by myself. <laughs> And then these carving tools, uh, I'm using my grandfather's, what I made by myself, but as much as possible, we make by hand, but impossible for carving. So for my finger, instead of my fingers, we make our carving tools. So this is everything we make by, my, by ourselves. We never buy anything. And then, you know, making food means uh, for memory, for the using people. Carving inside, and then it goes bisque. Maybe they never measured before, but seven, around 700 degrees. And then we glaze, but we never use machine. So that point is very important. I'm a kind of a Western guy. <laughs> learning in America, but I know I should not use machine for mixing because I believe mixing by myself, I might have a good result for firing. So something we can change and something we should not change. We have to decide by ourselves. Nobody can tell us. But always changing new, it's maybe uh, for the tea ideas, we say mucha kucha. If we don't brew, we don't have any brew or matters. 
uh, we might break the system. We, it might be no meanings. So we 